Just a last que- or last two questions, uh, just yourself. Um, I'm just wondering, well, first of all, to say, um, with regard to your speech, the legal profession definitely lost a, a great person in that you didn't, uh, didn't go down that line, because I think you were a remarkable speaker. Um, but with regard to kind of what you're saying about the telling of stories, I think that's so integral to what has grown the popular movement for support from, uh, even from straight communities and stuff. So stuff like even as simple as Modern Family, um, Cucumber and Banana, um, here uh, Stephen Fry's uh, brilliant documentary of coming out where he just listened to personal stories of people around the world. Yeah. And I think that's gotten so many people on side. But do you worry that after marriage equality is successful in the States and is successful here as it will be, that the division of resources may split? the base in the you know we, we need to target homophobic bullying in, in schools we need to target people being kicked out of their jobs into that splitting the 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 spread the movement like because we have all these different issues do you do you worry that the the popular sport could dwindle uh not if we continue to be good at telling the stories and frankly uh you sort of hit on it they're actually I, I want to be out of business, trust me. I never thought I'm going to be in the marriage equality business or it, near any sort of, you know, sort of legal world. I say time and again, I cannot wait to be out of business in our foundation, to shut the doors, to be done. Uh, but when we do that on marriage equality, I'm sorry, there are people out there uh, who are dying because they're, you know, LGBT people and dying uh, state-sanctioned murder because of who they are. I mean, if we can't dramatize that story and rally the world support around that, uh, then we've really failed. So, no, I think our ability to, because I hear the, the sort of mission drift or the mission split and, and uh, argument a lot, and I say, well, that's our fault. Uh, we have to be able to continue to dramatize our stories well enough uh, that we are able to fund all of the things that need to change, and that it's possible. I, there's so many people attacked our foundation when we decided to take the movement to the federal courts because that was not the strategy. The strategy had been the state by state in, uh, incremental approach. And they thought, well, this is just gonna divide resources. And this is just gonna mean we all have less to work with. And that was, that was limited thinking. Uh, and it was bull. And, and what we needed to do was to tell a compelling story and the resources will come. So certainly, uh, uh, you know, I think when it comes to employment and housing and certainly just decriminalizing uh, being an LGBT trans person in this world, uh, that, should, that should come next. Uh, many should argue it should have come first, and I might even agree with that. Uh, and, and, but we, I think we will be able to dramatize that in a way that, that the world will understand the necessity of decriminalization.